all you who are interested to know how a nomad gets her hair clean on the road and way out here in the desert, this is what she does. She's got a hose in the bucket. Awesome. And she uses that and it pumps the water from the bucket up into her hair. And she gets it all nice and wet. It's very interesting, actually. I've never seen this done either, so we're all new to this. And Marsha has graciously accepted the, the offer to show. So thank you, Marsha. You're welcome, Linda. <laughs> And so we're scrubbing. We're getting clean. And then after that, you know, she'll she'll rinse it with the same water. And uh, instant shower for your head. So there's your nomad shower. How about that? Now we've come to the rinsing part. And see, she's she's not rinsing it back in the bucket, she's going to rinse it on the ground so she doesn't get soapy water going back into her hair. She's a pretty smart lady. Oop, and I'm, I'm, uh, blocking it. Now she can do that. She has a little bit thinner hair than me. Mine is so thick that I, it would take me Two or three gallons to do this. Well, I'm only using three gallons. Uh huh. And I have two gallons left. Okay, so she started off with three gallons. And she's got about two gallons left. If you didn't hear her. And now her conditioner. So, ladies, you come on the road, you're going to have soft, shiny hair, just like Marsha. Thanks again, Marsha. Welcome, Linda. And Michelle, 360 gal, is helping out with the solar as well. So I got a whole team working on my rig. I'm so excited. Good people is what they are. Very good, wonderful, kind-hearted people. At it, they're going to be doing my solar today. I'm very excited. We have Mike from Van Life Sheldon's Travels, and we have Ed. Turn around, Ed, and say hello. <laughs> and of course, the ever-present, wonderful, beautiful lady. Oh, thank you. And yep, they're going to be up busy before the hot sun reaches them. And uh, so I'm all excited, and I'll do a shot halfway through and we'll see what we come up with and Michelle is up on my bus now God love her she's helping with the install pretty lady on a cool bus is trying to sleep in the small bed I thought that was very comical I thought you guys would like that what do you think, Luna? So I can have that 12 pack. Ooh, tripped over a rock. We are doing. We're doing a potluck tonight. The whole tribe is here. And I'm telling you, this bunch knows how to throw a dinner, a potluck dinner. Fire! Our campfire! Everybody's here. Come over 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 here. Come over
And we're missing Stephanie. There's Mike, and his wife Stephanie is not here yet. It was a good dinner. Now we're all relaxing around the fire. Good ending to a great day. Outfit like Miss Moo Moo. <laughs> Is that not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Thanks for showing me, honey. Love you. Love you more. <laughs> well, good morning again. Uh, we are at Walmart. Well, I'm at Walmart with Marsha. And uh, as soon as we're done here, well, I'm all done. I'm just waiting for Marsha. And when we're done, we're going to head over to the casino for a couple days, I guess. Free boondocking. So we're going to do that. And then uh, after that, I'm not exactly sure. I know there's going to be the, the uh, I th what are they calling it? I think they're calling it the boondockers bash. Boondockers bash, I think. So anyway, we're going to go there. And there's three or four different functions going on in November. So I'll keep you posted. And I'll see you a bit later today. Headed over to the casino for for a day or two. Not sure how many days. And everyone's getting ready to go. Burning some paper trash. Beautiful day. There's Chuck up there making sure everything is tied down well. Marsha putting her stuff away. Dave with his awning. Looks like Scotty, Terry, and Aja are just about ready to go. And of course, Michelle is as well. And Moo Moo is ready. Some last minute checks before we head out. Which is a good idea. Of course we got Moo Moo. Got Moo Moo. Behind me is Chuck. And over there, Van Life Sheldon's Travels. That's Mike and Stephanie. And of course, this big monster here is Dave's RV Life. Dave. And there's Ed and Sue. And there's Aja. And this is Margie and Jeff. That's their trailer and uh, navigator. And this person I don't know, but the, the rest of the clan or tribe or whatever, um, they know them. Um, behind them is Blue Van Dan and Mike, Carolyn's RV Life. And there's Terry and Scotty and Marsha. I think I'm probably missing somebody. Oh, Dory, she's probably behind Ed and Sue. But uh, it's a nice, nice casino, beautiful. They've got all these colored lights. And um, today I'm not sure what we're gonna do because I think it's calling for rain, so. Chances are we're going to just sit around in our rigs, do some hoeing out and cleaning and, and not too much of anything. We're waiting for the uh, boondock bash to start. So hopefully I'll be able to get some footage today of the casino and all the pretty lights. But, well, tonight I'll do that. But there you have it. To show you yesterday that they got my cargo carrier on the back of the um, bus so it's perfect I, I had them put one on this side and one on this side and so that I can open my door I'm gonna have to take this table off because the table is gets in the way because I have my gas cans that sit right there so I'm gonna I, if it doesn't rain, I'm going to take that off today. Hoe out the back of the bus. It's <laughs> I think I packed way too much stuff. So anyway, that's the cargo carriers that that uh, they put on. And great job. 
really good job. I'm very happy with them.